set my fandom aside. I'm just going to be right. The Cowboys are a near lock to beat the Redskins. Hold on. Hold on. You, you just mentioned the Cowboys and a lock in the same sentence. Is, did, did, did I hear you correctly? Looking left this time. Still looking. Goes over the middle, and it is picked off. Picked off by the Cowboys in the end zone on the doorstep of a score. Back to throw. Good protection. Runs up out of the pocket. Runs to the goal line. Leads it in. That's a great read by Dak Prescott. Second and two at the four. Handoff. Inside. Alfred Morris blocks the dog. Alfred Morris comes back to Washington and puts Dallas on top. Well, I guess we all know who won that debate. Dak Prescott celebrated his first career victory last Sunday in Washington. On Sunday night, he'll be looking for his first win with Dallas in primetime when the winless Bears come to town. Prescott is already making history as a replacement for the injured starter, Tony Romo. The Mississippi State product has thrown 75 passes without an interception in his first two NFL games, breaking Warren Moon's record. We now welcome Will Kane, who correctly predicted that one. That's right, How are we Molly. doing? Thank he you did. for being with it's us. about the only one he correctly predicted, yeah. a dead clock. <laughs> is right twice a day <laughs> oh, with his oh. lucky self. Oh, What's whoa, up, man? Whoa, whoa. What's up? Well, I'm happy to be here. I appreciate you guys having me on. But, yeah, we don't move to the future till we at least get to wallow in the past for one moment. Mm. Do you want to apologize? Do you want to recognize? Hell no. Hell no. You're lucked up. It ain't my fault that Kirk Cousins forgot how to play Let's, or Jay Gruden forgot how to coach. I don't know that he ever coach. remembered, I mean, Steve Excuse let's, me? Let's not pretend, by the way, that was my only correct prediction, Molly. I mean, yeah, the Cowboys are an easy prediction. W what, didn't you have another one about doesn't Mike Zimmer have Aaron Rodgers' number? Didn't Aaron Rodgers go uh, on to have perhaps his worst game as a professional? Stephen A., was don't, tell me, don't tell me when I'm not here you're getting schooled by everybody. <laughs> I thought it was just Listen. me. Max, he also picked the Dolphins to beat the Patriots. Well, I, well, and I forgot, wait, what, as long I as forgot what else he picked. That. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, wait, wait, I'm just simply Will. saying, yeah, you, you got me. Yeah, listen, 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 listen. He got me. He, he got me. Listen, the only really pick I care about is the Cowboys. I mean, the Aaron Rodgers, Vikings thing or whatever, they'll figure that out. Aaron Rodgers hasn't been the same for a little while. He's got to get He's got to get on his game, no question about it. But the real place Will got me was with the damn Cowboys because I swear I didn't think that the Redskins would lose this game. You got me there. I'm a man up and acknowledge that you boy. with your non-football <laughs> knowing self. Actually lucked well, up. Actually lucked up. Yeah. And, and, and I know. Picked a the guy right from pick Texas picks. I'm gonna give it a, to that. A guy from Texas picks the Cowboys. Exactly. Shocker. If I exactly. were you, Stephen A., just some humble advice. If I were you, I wouldn't go around calling me my non-football knowing self because it gives the impression that just anybody can step up on this set and beat you. And I know you're running a competition. <laughs> I know you have a competition for all the folks at home who are ready to do that. Yeah. I should be inspiration, <laughs> and therefore let, I'm let inspiration to everyone. For everyone <laughs> out there. By the way, by the way, Molly, yes. I'm glad Will brought that up uh -huh. because I want to let folks know that you know the reason why you got legal involved for ESPN and all of that stuff is because they want to make sure that the that, that the average viewers out there don't get massacred once this contest oh. begins and they come on this show. So again, you might get people that luck up here and there. I'm on the airwaves live two hours a day every day. You know more than. 40 weeks a year. I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> a, a dead clock is right twice a day. But in the end, over the grand, over the grand scheme of things, people are going to get beat down, which you would know if you were around more. But Max is there to tell you he's an expert in that category right now. <laughs> yeah, let's, right. Let's, let's do it. Let's move forward. Fully yes, delusional. Let's, 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 let's talk some Cowboys. And I want to start with you, yes. Will. Are the, is the Cowboys Romo's team when he returns? Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Oh, not a, God. This is not a debate. Oh. Let's give credit where credit's due first. Let's start with Dak. Dak, everyone talks about, the word everyone uses with Dak is poise. Mm -hmm. And that merits itself out in the numbers, and it's specifically in third down conversions. He's converting third downs like no other rookie, like a seasoned vet. What more, he's improving. If you look at his QBR, his completion percentage from game one to game two, he went from 55 to 70% completion. He went up to a QBR above 100 in the second game. Dak's the real deal. But this is why it's Romo's. <laughs> Dak's best game yet is not as good as Tony Romo's worst game. You take Tony Romo's stats over his career, and I don't care what stat you want to pick. Completion percentage, yards per attempt, QBR, touchdown percentage, record, 19-4 and four over the last two or three seasons. It, it's Tony Romo. And as long as the debate is Tony Romo at his worst is better than Dak at his best right now, it's Romo's team from here forward. Yeah, I mean, uh, Will is right about this, Stephen A. Um, look. Dak Prescott is excellent, and he's going to be excellent. You see the real deal. You know it when you see it. It's throughout the preseason, the regular season, 
et cetera. However, let's not forget that if Cousins doesn't throw a red zone pick, they're 0-2 right now, and everyone's clamoring, when is Romo going to get back? I mean, that's what would happen if not for Cousins' interception. Tony Romo, when last seen in action over the course of a full season, 2014, it's a little... It's a little closer in the recent past than it sounds, right? Because it's a season and some change. Fifth in points, the Cowboys were with Romo under center. Seventh in total offense. Twelve wins and one call away from the NFC Championship game. Same old line maybe better they've added since then. Same star wide out. Okay, the tight end is getting older, but he can still play. They drafted a, a, a running back high up. I mean... When Tony Romo is healthy, even the perception of the Cowboys goes from plucky team that might get it done on offense to, whoa, if they can play defense at all, they're kind of like a poor man's Pittsburgh Steelers. Like, if they can play defense at all, they're a real threat. That all changes. The entire perception of the team changes if Tony Romo is a starting quarterback. Yes on Dak Prescott, but not yet. If Romo's available, he's clearly the better option at this point. Well, well, see, see, now y'all switching it up because I was getting ready to jump all over Will because he sounded too damn much like you. He makes a point that he hedges his bet by going to the other side before coming back to the side, thereby giving me no side to attack because it's covered both sides. I was going, I was going to get all over you, but here's the problem. What you're saying, Max, is this based on right now. Well, who the hell's going to argue that right now with Dak Prescott, who's only completing about 60% of his passes, okay, he hasn't thrown a touchdown yet, hasn't thrown any interceptions either, he's thrown for over 500 yards. It's a, it's, it's a decent performance because guess what? He's not turning the ball over. He's not contributing to his team losing. He's keeping things under control and holding down the fort. And for a rookie fourth-round pick, that's a phenomenal thing to accomplish in your first two games in the NFL. We understand that, but there's no question that at this particular juncture, Tony Romo would be the guy. What I thought we were asking here uh -oh. is that since Tony Romo is not projected to be back before, let's say, week 8 to 10, all right, that's at least half the season. If Dak Prescott is flowing, like this okay. and continuing to elevate his stature you disrupt that because yep. tony romo is back healthy yep. my response to that is hell no yes you, you will do Look, not do this that. is a league hold I on understand. hold on I, hold on i, I let y'all speak go ahead i let y'all speak oh, I, I talk so my point is <laughs> will <laughs> yes, max i'm saying to y'all consider the culture tony romo has been your starting quarterback all the time since 2000 and seven, they have two playoff victories in nine years. What is there to talk about? If Dak Prescott is flowing eight games, nine games into the season, you don't sit there and disrupt that to take care of Tony Romo. If Tony Romo came back this week, yes. But right, if so this happens for eight years, for eight weeks, no, you don't do that. I got it. I got it. You want to set the terms of the debate on a hypothetical. That's cool. I'm good with hypotheticals. What's you the hypothetical? Tony the Romo's hypothetical out. you've presented, the way you've changed the debate. Well, is Tony if, Romo's out. If Dak Prescott is what? I don't know what the parameters are. Flowing, whatever that means. One of the best quarterbacks in the league. Do you well, sit I'm him sorry, for Tony I'm Romo? I'm That's, the new, That's the new term. That's the new term. The, yeah. the, 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 brothers, the brothers understand what I meant, Well, The brothers understand that. You know what I'm saying? I just want you to know that. It's okay, Will. Well, it's all right. I know. I'm trying to bring you there. I'm trying to bring you it up to speed. Be, you know, it with could the be lingo. a black white thing. It's all right. It could be okay. a New York Texas thing, or it could be a little a imprecision York. on your part to give you a little wiggle the room from the week eight. The first two. The yeah. first two. Well, well, black well, white well, New well, York Texas. That's fair. that's fair. Of the flowing point is fair. It is a little bit ambiguous, but that's the nature of the NFL. Kurt Warner, who got his job due to an injury. <laughs> became the best player in football, arguably. I mean, he was MVP, greatest show on turf. He's the orchestrator. He's the guy you want on your fantasy team. He's the guy you want on your real team. He gets hurt. Mark Bulger, who's, you know, fine. He's not some world beater, but he's fine. Takes over, and the Rams go 8-0, and oh, and Kurt Warner gets healthy, and he never plays for St. Louis again. I mean, that was it. So if it could happen to Kurt Warner, who as good as Romo is, has never been as good as Warner was back then, and as interesting as Bulger was, did not have the promise that Dak Prescott has right now. It could also happen. I'm not saying it couldn't happen to Romo. It's possible it could happen to Romo. But to Will's point, Stephen A., you, what does flowing well, mean? Well, let Will make like, his point. How, how, don't what help does it him. mean? I'm asking you, don't what does it him. mean? 
What, what's so that? I'll, 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 I'll answer that I'll for you. To, I'll get to that. Means, Go ahead. Flowing means that in eight weeks, Stephen A. doesn't have to be held accountable for Dak Prescott's performance. Ah. Flowing <laughs> means that you can win the debate no matter what. This, this is the answer. I'm going to accept the terms of Stephen A.'s uh, debate here. And that is, let's assume Dak Prescott is awesome, also an ambiguous term, through the next eight weeks. I will accept the body of evidence thing. S Stephen A. has said, you have years of Tony Rumble experience suggests he can't come through in the clutch. I say, I have years Here's a body of evidence that Stoney Romo statistically flies in the face of people like Stephen A. that want to mock him, that want to say he's not one of the best quarterbacks. I mean, it's in the numbers. And I will rely on that body of evidence and in those numbers, numbers to say that Tony Romo is the guy you go with based upon, I know this is a max term, pure weight of the evidence. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to struggle. I'm struggling here, Will, because I'm trying to make a decision. Yes. Is it just that you're a homer because you're from <laughs> Texas? Or is it that you're not a winner? Can I, because I, 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 I'm wondering. Can't because he be here's both? the deal. Why is Tony, that either or? Tony, hold on, hold on, Max. Tony Romo has done nothing when it counted. So if he's done nothing when it counts, and all you can point to is numbers, I can give you a whole bunch of stuff or a whole bunch of people that might have put up decent numbers. But I thought in the world of sports, what it comes down to is your ability to step up when it counts most, particularly when you're a $100 million contract with over $55 million in guarantees who can't win playoff games. You know, I'm, really, I'm sorry. I'm, that might have been my mistake. My bad. I'm really bad. glad that Max is here because I want, you know, this coming from the guy. You need all the help you can get. This is coming from the guy who last week, to explain Aaron Rodgers against Mike Zimmer, came up with every He's excuse a Super Bowl in the world, champion. including Max. He's the a weather, Super Bowl champion. The weather, that it's a little cold in Minnesota. Stephen A., hey, Stephen A., remind me, what's the name of the stadium in Green Bay? What's the nickname? What do they call it in Lambo, Green Bay? Lambeau, Lambeau. No, 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 you might not remember. I'm sorry, Molly, what was that? It's the frozen tundra. Oh, the frozen <laughs> tundra. So the quarterback that plays on the frozen tundra can't go hold to it, Minnesota and play. Hold it. Can I, that was can the I excuse you offered. Let me ask <laughs> Let me ask somewhat of a rhetorical question. And you can have Molly Wood there giggling all, 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 all she wants. She can't help you. I'm Here's entertained. the reality of the situation, Will. Here's the reality of the situation, Will. Uh -huh. You are comparing uh -huh. an individual that has two playoff wins in his entire career to a Super Bowl champion universally recognized as one of the top two to three quarterbacks of this generation. And I am saying to you, in one year, you have to win at least three playoff games to win a Super I get Bowl. It. I mean, so let me, Aaron let me Rodgers just has won one more second. playoff games in one year I, I than Tony Romo has won in ten. It's not and even you compare the two? I, I need to I need to judge this for a second. Stephen A., if Will's point was that Mike Zimmer's a problem for Aaron Rodgers and you're denying that, you're crazy. Of course he's a problem for Aaron Rodgers. And, Will, I like Tony Romo a lot. He ain't Aaron Rodgers. No, I didn't that... say that. So, I'm sorry that point was missed. My point is a man who says the weather is a problem for Aaron Rodgers might not be qualified to judge what a homer is. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> oh, well, that's good. That's a, that's a good advice, try. That, that was a good one. Well, because I think he's misquoting me. That's why I'm looking up. No, no, no. Because we got tape. We got there. tape. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, I'm sure we got tape. It, 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 it's, it's, I'm, 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 I'm the man on the show. We damn sure got tape. <laughs> oh, but my Lord, point to me. you is this. My, my, my point to you is this. When I brought up the weather, I talked about last season. I wasn't talking about all the times yeah, yeah. that he played against Zimmer. And Aaron Rodgers right. has struggled against numerous teams, particularly since Jordy Nelson went down. But you left Frozen out those tundra. facts. Frozen good try, though. Tundra. Good try, though, Will. A good try. Will, thank totally you. Thank that you. was a lot of fun. I should get an award for managing Thanks. these egos.